Hello guys and welcome to Raw. I'm of course the main commentator, Mark and Marks, and I'm of course on one side, Matt Freeway. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Hello Maz. <laughs> and well we are here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're about to get this show underway here. And well, coming out first, he is our former world heavyweight champion, Notorious. And well, he said he's got some big news for us here tonight. Well, let's see what Notorious has to say. And of course, Notorious coming back last night during the Royal Rumble. Yeah, Notorious making a shocking return to Raw as a competitor in the Royal Rumble and came close to almost making it to the end of the Rumble. Well, let's see what uh, Notorious has on his mind tonight. Yeah, let's see what he has in mind tonight. Indeed, what does he have to say here, Notorious? Looking absolutely right here, and well, maybe we can try to continue back on his undefeated streak, which of course was beaten by Danny. But saying, I deserve my one on one rematch with Danny Six. He used shenanigans to beat me, having Kevin King come out and attack me. And I'm sure he did something to No Way Jaden last night. Of course, No Way Jaden had to wipe out the sweat and didn't break up the pin last night. But also saying and saying he wants that rematch at nowhere else than at WrestleMania. He said he doesn't care that Reznor won the Rumble. He can have that match somewhere else because Danny Six is his. And well, uh, I don't think Reznor's going to be agreeing with that. No, and I'm sure Mr. Disney's not going to agree with that either. So we'll have to see. Yeah, well, Paul Heyman coming from the back here. Uh, my client Brock Lesnar is a prize fighter, and he was so nothing less than a GW World Heavyweight Champion. So, Mr. Notorious, if you think you deserve that talent match so much, then go against Brock Lesnar tonight for it. And well, I think we just found ourselves our main event, but we're gonna have to continue on here. It's Corey Graves in the back with Alan Bourne. Saying he wants to make a statement here tonight with his match against Jamie Lethal. Of course, our first match tonight, Alan Bourne versus Jamie Lethal. Let's see what Alan has to say for himself here. And saying, yes, Corey, I wouldn't go out there. So people will start talking about the man who won the Rumble, Mr. Brock Lesnar. Instead, those dummies will be talking about Alan Bourne after my match tonight. And well, let's see if he really can make a statement like that here tonight against Jamie Lethal. And of course, Saying that he don't think people would stop talking about the Royal Rumble, but good luck against Jamie tonight. You know, to see how Jamie's feeling after his big match last night that he was unsuccessful unsuccessful in winning, but what a great showing he had. Yeah, what an excellent showing indeed. And well, Jamie Weasel versus Alan Bourne coming up next here. And well... Jamie, like you said, was unsuccessful last night in beating Conor Rhodes. Unsuccessful as well, also in the Royal Rumble. But well, coming out first, Jamie Lethal. And Jamie non lethal was definitely put to the test last night and uh, came up a little short, but maybe here tonight he'll pick up a big win over Alan Bourne. Yeah, let's see. Well, and well. Like, you know, you like to call him Mr. Non-Lethal. This man is still struggling to find his first win here. And really, if he can get a win over Alan Bourne here tonight, I think that would be a big step up in his career here tonight if he can get a win against Alan Bourne. Yeah, it would definitely get him on the track of uh, at least getting that first win under his belt and maybe possibly coming on to something else other than opening the show. Yeah, other than opening the show, and maybe we can... And maybe if he can start picking up a win streak, you know, it's not too soon. Maybe we could be seeing that Mania. Maybe this time he'll win the chance to go for the United States Champion. Maybe he'll go for the Hardcore Champion. You never know. But he needs to start picking up wins. He needs to start picking them up fast. I think you're setting the bar a little high there. You're talking about him being on WrestleMania. I think, if anything, he may make the pre-show of WrestleMania. Yeah, well, maybe he might go against Conor Rhodes again if Conor doesn't cash in by then. Very well, possibly be. Well, now we're just waiting on Alan Bourne. He said he's looking to make an impact here. And well, here he comes. Here comes Alan Bourne. And he, 
Well, like you said, he's looking to make a statement. Well, really, that's not an insult. That is just a fact of life. Yeah, one half of the born winners. Mostly, uh, maybe in singles action, they can actually get a win. Yeah, let's we'll see. Well, like you said, the born winners will. Like they, like the comments are, they said they're born winners, and Alan is going to be looking to try and prove that here tonight. Of course, both members of the born family were in the Rumble last night, both of them unsuccessful. Of course, Lewis was the first one in there, and the, well, the first one eliminated. Alan came in a little bit later, but wasn't able to win it either. So let's see if Alan can pick up a, a big win here against Jamie Lethal. Yeah, this should be an interesting matchup between two of the young up-and-comers here in uh, GWF Raw roster. And well, neither of the Bourne family members did pick up an elimination last night, but Jamie Lethal did help in the elimination of Morgan Wolf last night. Of course, three men did really attack on to Morgan Wolf to get him eliminated. And really, so that really that put an elimination on the board of Jamie Lethal, but like I said, none on the family from either of the Bourne brothers. I'm sure Alan will be looking to get a little bit of a uh, revenge over Jamie here tonight by picking up the win. And well, Alan looking on here, and oh, look at these big punches right onto Jamie, and Jamie just falling right down there. And let's see. Jamie can fight back here against Alan. Alan, so far early on in the matchup, having his way with him here. Yeah, Alan's in full control and just kind of manipulating uh, Jamie to his will right now. Yeah, punching the head there and now working over on him. But Jamie getting up here. We'll see what Jamie can get done here, having him against the ropes. Tossing him off. Oh, missing the drop kick there. But now a big fireman's carry by Alan Bourne. Now Alan continuing on the onslaught here. Yeah, Alan just staying one step ahead of uh, Jamie Letha right now and really pouring it on, looking to turn it around, though, is Jamie here. Yeah, Jamie trying to turn around himself, but again, Alan back in control here. Jamie barely getting in control, but I mean, he's trying his best, but whenever he does get in control, Alan seems to know a way around him here. Now just another big uppercut there. Yeah, there's vicious forearm uppercuts that he keeps throwing, but Lethal able to shake it off and looking to turn into a little bit of a rest hold here, trying to slow the momentum down. Yeah, trying to slow him down here, but Jamie trying to continue on him here. No, wait. Oh, right into the gut of Jamie Lethal here. Another big fireman's carry by Alan Bourne. Alan going up. What could he be going for here? And oh, and the big elbow there. We don't really see Alan go to the top row too often there, but trying to show it off here tonight. And oh, and just a big knee into the face of Alan. And this could be it. One, two. No. Jamie able to kick out. And you can see Lethal, you know, like kick out of that. But uh, Alan really frustrated there. Maybe he gave, uh, no, I thought he gave Lethal the chance to get back into it. But he's still throwing his forearms. Yeah, well, now it has him up and dropping him down just like that. And really, maybe Alan's not really giving Jamie enough credit here. Yeah, sure, Jamie doesn't have any wins here. But Jamie does have a lot of stamina. He knows how to kick out some of the biggest moves here. But wait. What does Jamie have in store for him here? Has him up and takes him down. Yeah, one thing you can say is uh, Jamie Lethal does have heart. Yeah, he definitely has the heart, but some would say he doesn't have the heart to win, but has him up and all oh, and takes him down. And now what does Alan waking up here going after the leg of Jamie Lethal? And just working over the body parts, trying to keep him grounded, trying to keep Lethal off his game right now. And doing really well for Allen, but just as I say that, Lethal turning it around. Yeah, Lethal turning around. I mean, Lethal always does seem to find his way into these matches, but he just doesn't know how to put it away here. No! 
but missing there. Uh, and really just did not have that scouted well, but Allen not taking the opportunity there, coming out. I don't know what Allen was thinking there, but it seemed to confuse Jamie long enough here as now he's just working over on the back of Jamie Lito, and Jamie could be tapping. No, not tapping here. But now... Yeah, really looking to stretch out his back. Yeah, maybe we're going to try and continue his plans here, and all. Oh, well, it's like it might have something to do with our table here. No, he's not going to do it. I think he noticed Jamie was going to be sitting up right behind him. So continuing on him here. And the big boots. Yeah, back and forth between these two so far. And uh, Allen looks like he has control. He just needs to try and find a way to finish this off. Yeah, this could be it here. One, two, three. And able to finish it off here. Big win for Alan Bourne here. Looking to pick up a great win. Yeah, Alan Bourne picked up a big win over Jamie Wito here. And well, really trying to prove himself here tonight. And well, a big win. Let's we'll see what can really come up of that big win there. Only time will tell. It's really going to be moving on to our next match. The time is not done for Dr. Tom here. He's still going through the trials of Joe Disney here. He's going to be going against the, well, the muscle of the Disney Alliance, Braun Strowman. Yeah, one of the biggest members of the Disney Alliance. And we'll have to see how Dr. Tom can fare against this big behemoth and Braun Strowman. Yeah, we'll have to see how he can definitely fare indeed Braun Strowman. I mean, sure, he was able to beat the big dog last night, but now he's got to go against, well, a fresh Braun Strowman. Dr. Tom, he's barely 24 hours removed from his match with the big dog Roman Reigns. And it was a big match last night at the World Rumble. Yeah, well, hopefully the doctor wrote himself a good prescription for some medicine to patch up his wounds and get him ready for this matchup here tonight, or he's in some serious trouble. Yeah, he can definitely be in some serious trouble here if... He doesn't really find a way to pick up a win here, but well, he's got Paul Heyman on his side now. I'm, I'm sure Paul will definitely is trying to help Dr. Tom any way he can to be fighting ready for this match. Do you think Dr. Tom was the one that sold Brock the prescriptions? Well, he, I mean, he did. Well, Dr. Tom did already said that he was the one that gave him the performance enhancement drugs, and that's why, of course. That this is happening between well, the bunny and Doctor Tom here. I'm right, we'll have to see if uh, Paul Heyman can help Doctor Tom in getting this big win here tonight for his client and uh, Doctor Tom. Yeah, let's we'll see if he can help him get a win. Is he gonna put a big man like Braun Strowman through ring post itis? This is definitely gonna be something interesting if he can really bring in a man like. Braun Strowman in the ring post -itis. I'm sure anybody he can get over to the corner will definitely suffer from that if he can get a chance to lock that hold on. Yeah, that's the thing. He's going to have to try and get the chance here. I'm sure... I mean, just look at the size of Braun. I don't think he's going to give Dr. Tom any chance here of getting him in ring post -itis here tonight. Well, as we get this match on the way here, Maz, who do you think is going to be picking up the big win here? I uh, just look at the massive amount of uh, girth that the uh, monster Braun Strowman here has. I have to go with Braun Strowman. I just don't see Dr. Tom being able to make it through this match. Yeah, well, like I said, Dr. Tom just barely 24 moved after his big match with Roman Reigns. Disney really just trying to continue the hurt onto Dr. Tom from where we are GM making sure that he is paying for betraying him here. And we'll have to see if uh, these managers let this go or if they get involved in this matchup. Well, knowing Disney and Paul Heyman, these guys are going to be everywhere in this matchup. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a match where Disney doesn't try and throw in a, a chair in there, try to really get that sort of advantage for his people here. Yeah, but I don't think even a 
Well, a chair would definitely help Braun Strowman, but I don't think he's going to need it. I mean, he can just throw Dr. Tom around this arena as he's doing right now. Yeah, as he's doing right now, but you say that, but Dr. Tom finding right back on him here and taking him down. And, well, he's trying to do when he knows what to do here, trying to use those big submission moves here against Braun Strowman here, but I don't think... That did anything to Braun Strowman's big skull there. I think Tom was trying to get the count out there, but now he's going back out after the big man. This is not looking good. They're right here by our table. Yeah, they're right next to our table, but going right back at it. Thank goodness. No, no. Oh, wait. No, oh, and taking him down and looking him right back on him here. And really, Dr. Tom usually... Really using his speed advantage here against Braun Strowman. And he's kind of turned the tide in this matchup right now. It's definitely in the favor of Dr. Tom. If he can keep up this momentum, he may be able to knock off the big man. Yeah, maybe it will indeed. But now taking him down there. And what does he have in store? Oh, and just a big snap suplex there. And now, but Dr. Tom continuing the onslaught here. What does he have planned here next? Trying to go in for it, but just the big grass of Braun Strowman. And now the big headbutt using that big skull of Braun Strowman. And yeah, hopefully, uh, Dr. Tom doesn't have a concussion. A major headbutt like that. Yeah, he may have a concussion. He's definitely he may have to prescribe himself some painkillers here because that. Was definitely some lethal big headbutts by Braun Strowman. And now Strowman just continuing on him here. I don't know what. And now, now Dr. Tom's on the wrong side of the field here. He's got the bunny and Braun Strowman going against him there. And Disney trying to pretend like he wasn't doing anything, but you can just see. There was some kind of evil plan that, no, there it is. Disney's hatching it now, telling Braun Strowman what to do. Yeah, no. And that may be part of it there, throwing him right into the ring there. But what does Braun have in store next? What did the what did that dastardly bunny tell him? Oh, my goodness. And really, Braun Strowman is making use of the concrete outside here. But no way. I think the bunny may have said to break him in half. Yeah, trying to break him in half. Tom's turning it around. Yeah, Tom's turning around. What does Tom have in store for Braun Strowman here? He looks like he may be going up, but Braun Strowman's getting up. I don't know if Dr. Tom notices this. Braun Strowman coming right at him and able to get out of Braun Strowman's uh, glass there. And now. Really talking smack on Braun Strowman while he's down. I don't think that's the smart thing to do. I think he may be just riling up the beast right now. Maybe riling up this monster. But wait. Has him up into a big pile driver. The strength of Dr. Tom there. And this can be it. One. Two. No. Not enough. Oh, there. Tom's right. He was trying, but he didn't hook the leg. If he would have hooked the leg, he may have had him. Yeah, may have had him there, but... Oh, now the bunny getting involved. And like you were saying there, do you think these managers were just going to let this match go? It looks like he tried to go into a bit of a submission there, but... Dark Tom really is specialist in it. And oh, and showing off the strength of the beautiful Northern Lights. Yeah, Tom trying to pull out all the tricks that he can to try and knock off Brown Strowman here in this matchup. Yeah, now a big belly to belly there. Dr. Tom, well, like you said, he's doing everything he possibly can to try and pick up a win here. No, oh, and attacking the midsection. And right now, he really seems to have Braun Strowman reeling right now. But, yeah, still has him. And another... Big snap suplex there, but oh, I think Disney's bringing in a chair now. What does Dr. Yeah, who's going to get to it first? Dr. Tom going outside. Maybe yeah. looking for some advice from Paul Heyman. 
Yeah, Pauline was about to give advice, but it looked like he noticed he was going towards that chair. But a big choke slam there. And now Paul Heyman getting involved. And well, Paul Heyman better watch out. I don't think Braun is scared of going after Paul Heyman here. He's not scared of any sort of disqualification here. And I'm sure Paul Heyman's not scared of Braun either. And knowing that he has the beast Brock Lesnar in the back watching his back. No, oh, but wait, look at this though. Oh, and taking uh -huh. him down. But, oh, wait. Paul Heyman messing with the turnbuckle there. Yeah, well, big match Sean had to fix the turnbuckle there as Paul Heyman was messing with there just as it looked like Braun Strowman was going to be picking up the win. But Braun continuing on him here. He's not even winning that phase him. As oh no, and I think he may have that chair in mind. Oh no, he's gonna put him in the tree of woe here. What does he have playing and all? Oh, and just a big boot there. And finally, big match on getting rid of that chair. And luckily, no one actually got slammed onto that chair, and that became a factor in this matchup. Yeah. But Dr. Tom's not looking good. No, he definitely wasn't looking good. As there was the three count there, and Braun Strowman with the big win. A dominant win by Braun Strowman. Really, I just think it was to Dr. Tom was not fresh at all for that match, and Braun Strowman took big advantage of that. And the monster prevails. And well, but coming up next, we got No Way Jaden going against our local hero, DM West. Right, let's see what No Way Jay can do up against the local hero, DM West. And let's see what he can. Of course, these guys were both unsuccessful last night going for the world title with Daniel Six able to retain. And many people very questioning what happened to No Way Jin last night because he didn't break up the pin. He, he had something in his eyes that he was trying to get rid of, but it allowed Daniel Six to pick up the win. And who knows what was in the mind of No Way Jaden at that moment, but. He's going to have to move on past that and look to the future and maybe getting another chance at Danny Six in that title, if not by the end of the, this season, if not into season two, maybe. Yeah, well, at this rate, he would not be going for that world title and really until season two because, well, as of right now, it seems to be either Notorious or Lesnar who will be going after the title at Mania. If Paul Heyman put it on the line that he can go for the title if he wants, Lesnar would find another main event just as worthy if he wanted. But, well, Notorious would have to find a way to beat Brock Lesnar if he wants that to happen. But no way, Jane looking ready here, just waiting on the local hero. Here comes our local hero, DM West. That's a man that still can't find a pair of pants. But anyway, we'll have to see if the local hero can change his uh, ways after last night and pick up a win here over uh, No Way Jaden. Yeah, we'll see if DM West can pick up a win over No Way Jaden. And well, what's the woke, well, the woke hero mini fans are still going on about his entrance last night. That new song that he made last night, really trying to poke fun at the darkness. And really, I just think that angered Danny Six even more last night to really push and win. And of course, pinning DM West. Yeah, I heard uh, he collaborated with Double J to 
write that. Wow. Well, both those guys, you know, very musical geniuses here in GWF. Glad to have them here on Raw. As the local hero looking ready here tonight. As we are about to go into this match, Maz, who do you think is going to pick up the big win here? Is it going to be No Way Jaden, or is it going to be the local hero, DM West? I'm going to go with uh, DM West, I think. He's had a lot longer of a career, and I think he's a lot more ready for it. Let's see if you're going to be right here. Is it going to be DM West? I mean, you can't forget, though, No Way Jaden having his girlfriend outside to help manage him. Of course, Rosa Mendez out here to help No Way Jaden try and continue his career here and pick up some wins. And if he could pick up a win over the local hero, DM West, I think that could definitely be a giant win in No Way Jaden's career. Yeah, I mean, picking up a win over someone is accomplished as uh, DM West could definitely propel the career of uh, Jaden uh, toward possibly getting, like I said, back into that title picture. Yeah, he could be getting back in a title picture. And well, I mean, there's so much opportunities on the way, of course. I mean, you really got to make your mark now to get ready for season two. I believe our first paper may be nine champions. Wait, one. No, only a one count. And of course, I'm sure... Iru's men will be looking to try and really climb back the way onto the top and try and get a big win and really try and go and become the first, well, heavyweight champion of season two. And both these guys are looking to just up their stock uh, going into season two and maybe even maybe possibly getting a big match at WrestleMania. And they, yeah, Iru's men can definitely be on the Wrestlemania card. I can definitely see Dean West going for any title go there of course why the hardcore of the United States but right now it seems to be the World Heavyweight Championships on walk though. Yeah but who knows maybe Mr. Disney will come up with some kind of like six pack challenge where the winner will get a shot at the title next season or something and one of these two competitors could actually impress him here tonight and maybe get into something kind of like that matchup yeah you never know indeed as now no way Jaden will can continue on him here and of course no way Jaden's really was trying to really set a record here being the first man in history to be the GWF champion GWF world heavyweight champion but was unsuccessful last night it's going for the cover one two no only a two count and of course, he was a two-time GWF champion, and the only other two-time GWF champion was J Money, but he has recently been released. So said by our on our Twitter, he was released by Daniel Bryan. But well, big things are happening. Of course, and right now the only other person that seems to be that can able to do that would either be Notorious or the. Current champion Danny Six here on Raw that could possibly try and go for a a record like that. And as you saw, a big match John getting those stairs out of the ring, kind of clearing this up. I don't know what Jaden was thinking about bringing them in. Well, maybe he's still thinking about last night. Of course, last night was Extreme Rules. Maybe he still had it somewhere in his mind that it was Extreme Rules. But I think Rosa put it back in his mind. It was the only put down those stairs to reach. Put him back on the right mindset. And he was close to getting himself disqualified, but now it's DM West with full control of this matchup right now, stomping away at Jaden. And that's stomping away here as DM West, what is he looking to do here? No, no way, Jaden with the big reversal. No way. Now, what are they going to do? No, oh, and the big Russian leg sweep in. To a little dance there from No Way Jaden going for the cover. One, two, no, only a two count. 
Okay, but Jaden's definitely turning this match around now. He's got control of it, and looks like he could be setting up DM West for their, or this finisher. Yeah, it could be setting him up for the end, but no, DM West fighting back on him here. You know, wait. Oh, and attacking the leg. And, oh no. Oh, and face first into the canvas there. And now no way Jaden trying to take back control here. He's looking to go up top. He may be looking to finish it here. And oh. With the big Jayden dance. looking to fly. Oh, and the big flying. No way Jaden, but no way Jaden isn't done here. I don't know what does he have in store next. Taking him to the outside maybe again. But no, DM West able to fight back on him here. And now looking a little disoriented here as DM West has him up. And oh, into the payway kick there. That's oh, gotta no. be it. I think Jaden's out. Yeah, he may be out, but DM West is going for some assurance here. Hitting the big elbow. Has to go straight into cover, surely. No, he is looking again for more assurance here. He is looking to really take out No Way Jaden here. Oh no. Has him up. And a big vertebra breaker. And this looks to be it. Whoa, 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 no. Well, Rosa Mendez taking out the referee. Rosa trying to save it for her man here. No way, Jaden trying to keep him in this matchup, and it's definitely distracted uh, Big John. Yeah, but oh no, what does No Way Jaden have in store here? He's going, he's looking to high fly right into DM West, and DM West looks absolutely out of it. It's definitely got the crowd up on their feet here, cheering for No Way Jaden. Yeah, looks like they've uh, kind of taken a liking to him. Yeah, the fans are absolutely, like I said, on their feet. They cannot believe what is happening here. But no way, Jaden really needs to capitalize on it here. But instead, he's dancing. Uh, it's just playing up oh, to the crowd. And cold breaker there. Out of nowhere. It is absolutely out of nowhere. And he is trying to get up here, but... He can tell it was going down very slowly as he is cut open here. Oh no, what does DM West have in store next? He looks like he's telling him to get up. Helping him up into a suplex there. DM West is like a shark smelling blood in the water trying to take out his opponent right now. Yeah, it looks to be going back up yet again. Oh, and the high flying local hero. And this could be it. One, two, three, and a big win from the local hero, DM West. Making the fans here in Charlotte, North Carolina happy. The big win for DM West, your local hero. Yeah, the big win from our local hero. And well, it looks like he's calling for a mic right now. And. What does he have to say here? Oh man, what? I'm putting on his jacket and he's saying, I just beat a former two time GWF champion here tonight in No Way Jaden, but I'm not done there. There was just one man I'd like to ask to come down here, and that is the United States champion, Morgan Wolf. And what does DM West want with Morgan Wolf or United States champion? But here he comes. Man, I don't know if it's a good idea calling out the lone wolf, but ask for it and you shall receive. The wolf is here and he's ready to bite. And Morgan Wolf is making his way down. And you really just gotta wonder what does Dean West want to say to Morgan, but making his way down here. I mean, I don't know if he's really in the right mind. Of course, just having that match with no way Jaden. I, I, I think he's just losing it here. See, we could have a very volatile, volatile uh, matter going on right now with these two guys in the ring. And we 
Philly is very well indeed. And well, Morgan pointing out at DM West and well, showing the gold there. Of course, our only United States champion. And well, let's see what DM West saying. Well, thank you, Morgan, for coming down here. I just want to say we've gone through a lot here. You uh, gone through a lot to get to where we are here. You, the GWF United States champion, and me, the local hero of GWF. But you know more than me that we go way back in wrestling. And well, and well, Morgan saying, yeah, you can definitely say that again, DM. But I think everybody knows you didn't just calm me down to we live all times. So why did you? You calm me down. Just cut to the chase here. Let's see what DM West has to say here. And cutting to the crowd again. And well, Morgan, around two years ago, me and you tore the house down in NSW's NXT, and now I think we can do even better than we did back then. And you know, me beating you, you is just eating you up. So why don't we just? So why don't we just have a, another match we'll go one more time. Me and you, mano v mano, on the biggest stage of them all, WrestleMania, and put that United States title on the line. Heck, I didn't even accept a ladder match knowing that Morgan is the king of ladder matches here, really. And saying, well, what do you say? Right, oh! with the uh, lone wolf. Yeah, well, Morgan Wolf, just the knockout punch, and well, I don't know if you just heard him say, there, he's saying, I accept. And now walking off. It should be an interesting matchup come WrestleMania to see these two go at it. Yeah, it'd be great to see them two go at it. Morgan Wolf, the United States Champion, versus the local hero, Dan West. Really, I'm sure many people are wondering right now, what sort of entrance is the local hero going to have at WrestleMania? It's going to have to be a grand one indeed, but... Coming up next, we got the a Wisters coming out here looking to go against the Wake Raiders. And well, a Wisters changing up their look here yet again. They had a big time match. Uh, they had a big time chance in the uh, Royal Rumble last night, but weren't able to pick up a victory. And now let's see how they can do here in tag team division. Yeah, let's we'll see how they can get it done here. The a Wisters are staying around. They say they're not going anywhere. They're focusing here on the wrestling here and well let's see what the a wishers can get done here will this be a stepping stone for the a-listers or will this be a night for the regulators really make a claim to the tag team championship yeah let's see if the regulators can really bounce back here regulators haven't really been able to make much of an impact here so far but a win or Blake and Ian Ryan, we can get them a big chance here. But coming up next, they are the Regulators. And well, Johnson Sowers and Big Justin Z making their way down here. And these guys are looking to, like you said, really make an impact here in the tag team division. They haven't really been able to do that so far here in season one, but if they can start bringing their acts together. Maybe they could be the ones going to WrestleMania. Yeah, this could be a pivotal match for these two teams. Who's going to pick up the big win and possibly get themselves into a number one contender match for the uh, tag team titles, which the Elite still hold. Yeah, of course, the Elite still holding them. Now, where are we going to go for here? And just, oh. And the Regulators starting off strong here. And well, Maz, I gotta ask you, who do you think is gonna be picking up the big win? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with, I think, the Regulators. I think they're gonna be the fresher tag team right now after uh, Blake and Ian had to go into the Rumble. We'll have to see if that kind of makes a factor for them. Yeah. And well, Blake, what does. Well, Blake was getting up. It looked like he was gonna be attacking Johnson Styles there, but no, Johnson. Looking to really, really one up the AOSers here. The AOSers trying to show off here new attires and really trying to really again trying to make their stake here in GWF, but they weren't able to beat WWE. And of course, the elite were, are still tag team champions. Yep, so that's what I'm saying. This could be a pivotal match for both these teams. One of the two could possibly find themselves in a number one contender match. And 
I think uh, the regulators going to look to really show that they're a dominant tag team now. Yeah, of course, the regulators, everybody used to know them as the big dominant team, but they really haven't been showing that here in GWF. And maybe tonight can be a chance for the regulators to really step it back up here and really take it to the A-Wests here and show them, well, they're just movie stars. I think they need to go back to the LIB, the Long Island boys, back when they were from Brooklyn, New York, looking to take out a bunch of uh, people that just got in their way, and they were really kind of thuggish back when they were in NSW. Yeah, they were very thuggish, and yeah, they were, of course, the Long Island boys, but now, now they're the regulators, and well, I'm sure they definitely want to take out the a because they called Brooklyn really just a, a rat infested area and well like you said coming from Brooklyn these guys really just want to try and really make these guys pay yeah, let's we'll see if uh, they can do it here in this matchup but right now the Alisters are really turning it up and Ian's got control of this matchup and looking to maybe get Blake into this but big backdrop there by uh, Josh no, not, not Josh. That's uh, Johnson Styles. Johnson Styles, yeah. Yeah, big Justin Z in the ring right now with Ian Riley. And but what does Ian have in store for big Justin Z? But yeah, the, the big elbows there. But adjusting his tights there. Well, new tights seem to be not too used to him, and that allows big Justin Z to get back on him here. Yeah, it's not a smart move making a mistake like that because now you're giving the other team the advantage and Justin Z is taking advantage of it as, as much as possible. Yeah, like I said, being much advantage he is and oh wait, oh and taking him down. And like you said, the regulators are really making him pay here but Raw will continue right after this. And well guys, if you missed the Royal Rumble do not worry, it is on the network right now. And well, you can go and see Brock Lesnar be the one man who really trumped the other 29 men in the Rumble and going to WrestleMania. He's going to be main eventing. But later on tonight, we're going to be seeing if it's going to be against Danny Six or does he have another big challenge in store here as we're coming back. And Blake looking to try and put away the regulators here. And going for a big famous sir. And this can be it here already. One, two. No, only a two count. And I don't know if you noticed it on the sidelines. Ian would have gotten cut up during the commercial break. Yeah, it seems that they cut kind of uh, awoken Ian and he was able to get the tag into Blake and. Blake had the momentum for a few seconds there, but it seems it's turned back around. Yeah, as Johnson Stalin is tagging out again, big Justin Z back into the matchup here. But now, what does Blake have in mind? Oh, and taking him down, and well, he's calling for a money shot here. No, he's going to be getting uh, Ian into the matchup now. Oh, and taking him down and big Justin Z seems to be in absolute control over Ian right now yeah, I don't know if it was such an wise idea for Blake to tag him in it seemed Ian still is not fully prepared is fully prepared for this matchup after that slash to his head that he had received yeah but I think Blake might have been a little bit too tired as now going for the cover one wait 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 Big Matt Sean noticing the hands on the rope. And, well, I think Big Justin Z is really just surprised that Big Matt Sean finally noticed it for once. Yep, now they got the ring cut off and singled out on uh, Ian only. And, no, no. Oh, and the big DDT and really just playing to the cut wound that he has. But, oh, no. We're going to end it here, but... Blake seeing that coming and was able to stop him. And super kick! And what Johnson Styles right there is going to be able to break that one up. 
as Big Man Sean trying to gain some control back over this matchup. And he's trying to get everybody out of the ring and back down to the two competitors here, but it seems uh, Ian's turned his back around for the A-listers, and now they're back in control of this matchup. Yeah, going for the cover one. No, Johnson able to break it up and just look at that crimson mask on Ian now. He desperately needs to get a tag and get out of this matchup. Yeah, these two are battling it out for this uh, possible chance to become number one contenders. I think uh, both these teams are definitely laying it all on the line. Yeah, they are laying it all on the line and taking them down. And this looks to be the end of the A-Wisters here. Three. And just the bloodied up Ian Riley. A big win from the Long Islanders. Yep, the Regulators picking up the big win. Definitely showing their dominance in the tag team division. Yeah, well, I'm already starting to call them back to the old name, the Long Islanders. Yeah, the Regulators with the big win. Well, imagine you're getting that, getting that name stuck in my head there. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I think they just need to go back to their roots, to the LIB. The Long Island boys are definitely making a name as the Regulators here in GWR. And while we are moving on to our co-main event, Tyson Mason looking to continue on his search to see if anyone can stop him here. Well, Tyson Who's looking dominant as always, of course, making everybody well, tap or snap. Who's going to be the one to step up to face him in this challenge tonight? I mean, last night he had a great showing in the Royal Rumble, but... I can't remember the uh, rookie's name who threw him out, but it was definitely a highlight of the night. Yeah, one of the rookies was able to get lucky and eliminate Tyson Mason. And really, I think it might be fortunate enough that uh, for Tyson, that that person will not be here tonight. We, really, I should say, more fortunate for that rookie because who knows what Tyson Mason would do to him? Because of course. In a submission match, there's only one way that match is going to end when that person is tapping or, or well, snapping. Yeah, we'll have to see if uh, Tyson Mason can hold up that challenge here tonight. Let's see what opponent he is or who's going to step up to challenge him. Yeah, who is it going to be? Wait, 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 the music's playing. I mean, American Alpha's music and Jason Jordan will be looking to try and win, well, really, win where Chad Gable couldn't. And, well, another former big time wrestler here back, of course, did a big in college. And let's see if Jason Jordan can really try and step up where Chad Gable couldn't do last week. Yeah, this could definitely be a test for Tyson Mason's submission challenge, but I'll have to see if the amateur background of uh, Jason Jordan here will help him in this matchup, and maybe we could see an upset here with Jason Jordan making Tyson Mason tap. Yeah, of course, and well, Jason is not doing it really more, as much as for himself, but he has to do it for American Alpha. He has to try and do it for Chad Gable, because Gable wasn't able to do it last week. Can Jason Jordan pick up the win this week against Tyson Mason? Jason Jordan, what does he have in store here? No oh, one attacking the leg. And now Jason. Well, so far early on in this matchup, Jason really proving his athletical ability here against Tyson Mason. Well, like I always say, Emo Tyson is a master of the wrestling art. Tyson Mason, he is an MMA star. He doesn't just really focus on the wrestling. He also focuses on Tai Chi He focuses on the Jiu Jitsu, the Karate, the Boxing. He focuses on it all in MMA. I mean, he, he really is just a jack of all trades. Yeah, but you, uh, you always know that his bread and butter is their submission holds. He loves to grab somebody and twist their leg or their arm and get them into this position where it's either it's going to snap or they're going to tap out and that's why he started this challenge. Mm -hmm. And I've 
I've already gotten word from the back from Tyson Mason that Tyson he's been sh he's been warning how to make people submit ever since he's been 13 when he was with his brothers he's been making them tap and well like I said ever since he was a little kid well he's right now he's in a tough spot he's able really taking a beating from uh, Jason Jordan at the moment yeah Jason Jordan seems to be in control so far here and Tyson really trying to continue on here. No, and Jason really showing off that great, really uh, collegiate leveling of uh, wrestling here. Yeah, it was a quick double leg takedown there. And now looking to work over the leg and maybe soften it up to possibly put on like a, a knee bar or some kind of uh, ankle lock submission. Yeah, some sort of ankle lock here. But yeah, Jason Jordan really working over on the leg. Uh, Tyson Mason and right right now Jason seems to be having his way here. And it seems the amateur background uh, of Jason Jordan is definitely coming to help him out in this matchup, keeping Tyson Mason grounded and not able to lock on any submission holds. Yeah. Oh, and now attacking the back here, and if Tyson Mason really doesn't find a way to get back at him here. This could be a win for Jason Jordan here very soon. And, oh, and, and oh, he, there he goes, getting right into it with a big power slam there. Yeah, I think Tyson's turned it around now. I think Tyson's fired up and looking to really wreck into uh, Jason Jordan here. Yeah, and, well, what does he have to do here? Oh, and just a big hip toss there by Jason Jordan. And Jordan now maybe looking to go for another submission here, working over on the arm here. And really wrenching back here. And this could be it for Tyson. He doesn't find a way out of it. Jason letting it go, though. Yeah, that might have been a mistake for Jordan. He should have held on to it a little bit longer. Yeah, should have held on to it a little longer. Now Tyson really making him pay for it now and what we, what's we going for a, a very similar type of submission there but really just really just be a more in-depth sort of submission yeah the rings of mason yeah what oh wait but jason jordan working back on him here and what get this oh and taking him down And these two are definitely evenly mashed up so far, and it seems Jason Jordan is maybe one step ahead of Tyson right now. Yeah, right now, and of course, I mean, this is something you usually don't see from Tyson during this challenge here. Really, Jason looks like he could be one, the first man to beat the Tyson Mason challenge here. Yeah, we could be looking at a shocking upset with Jason Jordan knocking off Tyson Mason be a definite upset yeah it could very well be indeed and again Mason really working over on him with the rings of Mason there hey right here on the outside right by us at the announce table here he needs to get it back in the ring though yeah well there's no 10 count to play with here they can stay out here as long as they want but the thing is you're just wasting time even if they tap out there this is not gonna be the end of the match because the ref wouldn't see it Yeah, but really wrenching in on the submission there. Yeah, but now what is he looking to do? Throwing him into the ring again. Tyson Mason working to continue on Jason Jordan. Now attacking the back here. Big belly to belly. Working on the back on the outside. Now back into the ring and really looking to work over the back to really set up for that submission hold again. Yeah, it has him in it again. And I think you call it the rings of Mason. And it looks like this could very well be the end. No, Big Man Sean saying he didn't submit there. So he's just going to continue working over on the arms of J Jason Jordan until he's going to be tapping. Yeah, work the back, work the arms with suplexes and slams like that. It's definitely going to wear down Jason Jordan here. 
Yeah, you know, they Jason tried getting back into the matchup there, but Tyson Mason saw what he was going to try and do. Went right into the big belly to belly. Now working on the leg there, a big ankle lock. Jason trying to do everything he can, but again, Tyson wouldn't go. I think he's just toying with him now. This is what he really wanted to get him into. He wanted to get him to the rings of Mason. This is how he wants to make him tap. And he is tapping. And well, a big Dude, win. Just so much damage the neck could take. Yeah, only so much damage the neck can take indeed. And a big win from Tyson Mason over Jason Jordan and continuing on the challenge. And right now it seems like Tyson Mason is right. Nobody has what it takes to beat Tyson Mason here tonight in a sub well, it's submission challenge. And now on to our big main event here, Notorious going against Brock Lesnar. Notorious wants to go against Danny Six at WrestleMania. Paul says you can have it if you want, but you have to beat Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar, no matter what, he's going to be main eventing WrestleMania. If he finds another big match that can do it, he will, but I don't know what matches really can be bigger than whatever with championship. And this could be a last chance for uh, Notorious here to possibly pick up the win and get himself back into that main event picture. Yeah, really, like I said, a last chance here. Jace, ooh. Notorious is looking to try and get a big win here. Of course, he was undefeated before taken out by Danny Six with the help of Kevin King. And he wants his one-on-one -on -one rematch against Danny Six. And he wants it at WrestleMania. Well, there's only one problem with that. He's got to get through the beast incarnate known as Brock Lesnar. And that's not a small feat in its own. So we'll have to see. Will this be the night for Notorious to claim that victory and go on to WrestleMania? Yeah, he's trying to use this way to get to WrestleMania. He wasn't able to get it to Royal Rumble, but... Well, here comes the pain. He is the winner of the Royal Rumble. The man main eventing WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar. And the Beast is here and looking to conquer anybody that accepts in his way. And tonight, it seems Notorious has wandered into the path of the Beast. And it could be... Lights out for Notorious if he's not careful. Yeah, it could definitely be a lights out for Notorious, but you gotta say, Notorious, he's the one that's asked for this. He wants to, he wanted a match like this to get really with Danny Six, and I'm sure Brock Lesnar will be looking to show why he won the Royal Rumble, why he is the Beast Incarnate, why we say, here comes the pain. Brock Lesnar looking to try and go to WrestleMania, and he wants the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, Brock shocked the world last night, returning in the Royal Rumble, and made short work of everybody, and got down to him and Draco, a child, and at the end there, I thought Draco was going to find a way to do it, but the Beast was just too strong, and out went Draco, and on went Brock to the WrestleMania. If he can win here tonight, he'll stay in, in that position. Yeah, of course, Brock Lesnar getting that lucky position of number 30, the freshest man into the Rumble. Notorious wasn't as lucky here, but well, we're about to get this match on the way. Maz, who do you think is going to pick up the win? That's kind of hard to go against the B, especially with Paul Heyman out there. I think I'm going to have to stay with Brock Lesnar winning this match and going to WrestleMania to face Danny Six in the darkness. Yeah, I know I know what you mean that you say that because this is Brock Lesnar, but you also kind of understand Notorious, a man that was undefeated in singles action. He he was only ever pinned by, well, by Danny and Morgan Wolf in tag and also Zadwin, but that wasn't for a loss there. That was in that two out of three pick your poison match, but Notorious is a man that was undefeated in three different companies before making his way here to GWF. Uh, let's see if there's any ring rust still left on him and hopefully there isn't and he can get the win over Brock here and cement his uh, trip to WrestleMania facing Danny in the darkness and trying to reclaim that title. Yeah, well, really, you're saying ring rust, that could really be said about both these men. 
Brock Lesnar and the Tories we haven't been seen since SummerSlam. Brock Lesnar for being caught for doping against Braun Strowman. Notorious was taken out by the darkness. No one even knew where he was, but finally he is back here and he wants what is his. He wants that one on one rematch. And right now Notorious has got control of this matchup, throwing some big haymakers toward Brock Lesnar, but Brock is able to shake him off and send one his own uh, sending him one his own way to Notorious now with a big suplex. Yeah, the big suplex there. Lesnar looking to really continue on Notorious there and just continue on and really bring in the pain. Just clubbing him with those forearms and fists. And yeah, now lifting up. But, oh, wait, sweeping the leg there. And, whoa, like I said, Notorious is no man to really make fun of. And look at this. Trying to make the big man tap here or, or trying to break his arm. Either that or hyperextended or dislocated from the shoulder socket. That could definitely be a problem for Brock if it if he keeps working on it. Definitely can indeed. But Brock Lesnar still finding on here. Notorious. What does he have in store now? He's just hammering down on Brock, keeping Brock grounded, not letting Brock get up to his feet. It's a good game plan trying to keep the uh, big man grounded here. Yeah, trying to keep him grounded now. Spinning him around. What does he have in store next? Oh, no. Just taking him down. And now the big drop kick by Notorious. It's, it's pretty bad when you're fighting a guy who's got the size, his biceps are the size of your legs. I mean, it's kind of a mismatch right now for uh, the size game, but... It's not letting Notorious uh, slow him down. Yeah, you definitely got to say Notorious definitely has a speed advantage. Here is with going for the cover with two. But, I mean, I may be saying that about Notorious having the speed, but Brock Lesnar, he, for a man his size, he has some freakish speed about him. But it, he definitely just cannot beat the speed of Notorious, though, tonight. And now Brock is dragging him into the middle of the ring, and just mercifully wrenching at the arm and slamming it to the mat now telling Paul Heyman that he's ready to finish this off it seems. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely ready to finish it off Brock Lesnar. No, wait. Notorious coming back in this. No, wait, what is this? Oh my goodness, into the power bomb there and really showing off the great finesse and strength there of Notorious. And turning the momentum of this match right now into his favor and he's got to stay on Brock or he not going to be able to pick up the win if he doesn't. He's got Paul Heyman worried now. Paul Heyman's up trying to mess with the turnbuckle. Yeah, Paul Heyman trying to mess with the turnbuckle there. The rep distracted. I mean, Notorious just hit the reverse Hurricane Rana there to really try and take down Brock Lesnar. And, but now, Notorious, oh no, going after our table now. No, 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 not, not my hat. Uh, no, my hat's. Uh, Brock's right out here waiting for him. What's going on? Oh, Brock into the barricade. Yeah, Notorious somehow was able to be the one to really get the surprise on Brock Lesnar there. And now throwing him into the ring. Notorious so far seems to be having his way early on on the outside here, but we all know Brock Lesnar, he'll probably find his way back in this is he's trying to get him onto the table but you can see Brock Lesnar doing everything he could to stay away from that table and yeah, trying to push it away from the table trying to stay away from it trying to keep uh, Notorious away from doing whatever he was thinking yeah but what does he have in store and oh now just the big knees there oh my goodness and <laughs> well I could very well be lights out for Notorious there those lethal Knee strikes from, well, the MMA star, of course, of Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate, now throwing him into the ring. And now, after that, Brock Lesnar clearly having his way here. Now throwing him back into the ring. Looks like Brock's ready to finish this match off. Paul Heyman telling him to get back in there and do it. Yeah, making sure Notorious doesn't have any time to breathe there, but Notorious was able to get back into this matchup there. Brock Lesnar not like him, but take, wasting too much time to stay back on him there. Yeah, these two keeping it out on the floor here. It's definitely getting a little bit out of control, and I don't know if uh, 
Big Match John can keep much more control of this matchup if they stay on the outside like this. Yeah, he's trying to keep as much control as he has. He's trying to really influence them to come back in with the 10 count, but they really just do not care. They are staying out there and continuing on with this onslaught here. Oh no, what is he looking for here? Oh, the big leg drop. And Paul Heyman trying to stay out of this, but I thought he might have wanted to try and get involved, but Torres is up to the top. Brock Stern, what's going to happen? Yeah, Brock is stirring. Is Notorious waiting for him to get up? No, I think he finally might have been staying down. Now, Paul Heyman trying to get some sort of distraction in there. Not working. Wesley was in firm control there. No, no. That's one. Still hooked. Two. And now just a big three. And this could be spelling the end of Notorious here. One, two, no, only a two count. Notorious has still got some life left in him. Brock's looking like he's about almost exhausted and looks like he's trying to think what he can do to finish off uh, Notorious here. Yeah. And well, you can really see the exhaustion coming from Lesnar, but Notorious still has a lot left in him here, going with the big punch to Hurricane Rana, still doing it all, and now trying to hit the heart stopping el elbows here on Brock Lesnar, really continuing on him here. The fans counting down the big elbows there. And getting lucky with the big 10. 10. Big elbow straight to the heart of Brock Lesnar. And Lesnar right now seems to be reeling a place that we never really seem to see Lesnar in. And Notorious seems to be absolutely in fighting shape here. And it seems Notorious has got a second win, but he's not careful. He doesn't finish off Brock soon. It could come back to bite him. There's Paul Heyman up, distracted Big John. Yeah, again, that second reverse Hurricane Rana trying to put Brock Lesnar away. Paul Heyman again noticing what happens, distracting the ref. And now Heyman really with the big distraction of helping Lesnar get in front here. And Lesnar may be looking for a big F5 to end Notorious. Has him up. Yeah, the siren is calling the F5. And Notorious may be out of it. This has to go for the cover. One, two, three. And Brock Lesnar will now definitely be going against Danny Six at WrestleMania. And just like that, Notorious' dreams of going to WrestleMania to face Danny Six and getting his rematch are gone with the wind as the F5 tore through his town and destroyed Notorious. Yeah, Notorious took the wrong turn went into Suplex City and that was enough Brock Lesnar picking up the win and well this just really cements it here Brock Lesnar versus Danny Six at Wrestlemania I cannot wait we already yeah, know can't. we already know Morgan can't. Wolf and DM West Lesnar and Danny well what more can't wait can't wait to see the beast versus the darkness it's going to be a great matchup and will Danny Six be able to survive going to Suplex City and will we be able to survive Sioux Quick City? But with that being said, that is it for the show. Man, say goodbye to the fans. See you next time, fans. And well, guys, that is it for Raw. I am, of course, the main commentator, Mark Marks. And I will see you guys next time.